Hey, YouTube family. It's Raven, back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord. Okay, so the word is nourish others with fresh fruit. Nourish others with fresh fruit. So I'm driving to church yesterday and a car passes me and it says, their plate, the plate, their license plate says fresh fruit. <laughs> I said, that's nice. <laughs> that's a nice license plate, fresh fruit. Okay. <clears throat> so it got my attention and I just kind of put it in my back pocket like I do, right? And I get home that night and I'm reading the word, doing my journaling, you know, doing my kingdom homework. <laughs> and the Lord just like drops it in my spirit, guys. And he goes... When you are bearing fruit in your life and cultivating the fruit of the spirit, you are nourishing others. Okay, so I thought this was really good because as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, our life is never just about ourselves. Okay, it's always our life is bigger than us. All right. So we're supposed to, we're called to bear fruit in our lives, you know, bring about good things in our life. Like if you are attached to the vine, who is Jesus Christ, you will be bearing good fruit in your life. Okay. And others should be able to see this. And then we have the fruits of the spirit. Okay. It talks about in Galatians and we should be actively trying to cultivate and grow these fruits of the spirit. And we do this. It's not just benefiting ourselves, right? And, and we're glorifying the Lord and people can see Jesus in us, but we're benefiting those around us. We're nourishing those around us with our fresh fruits. Okay, because we, if you have the option between fresh fruit, bad fruit, what are you going to pick, right? You're going to pick that fresh fruit. And there's nothing re more refreshing than, you know, a nice, juicy orange, you know? <laughs> fresh fruit. It's refreshing. It brings refreshment and nourishment to others' lives, to those around you. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty quick word. I'm not going to try to drag this out too much because what I want is I want you guys to go to the Lord and I really want you to press into this individually with him okay so what you're going to do is you're going to choose to bear good fruit in your life so what is good fruit good fruit is let's see if I can grab some different words instead of just fruit fruit bear good fruit okay when you're bearing good fruit in your life you are seeking the kingdom first Right? You're putting Jesus Christ first and you're following him in obedience and you're doing the things that he has called you to do, which if we really summarize that we all of our callings and purposes look different, but ultimately we're serving others. So at some, you know, you're serving others, you're bearing good fruit, you're loving people in your life, you're, you're giving to others in your life, whether that's your time, your finances, you know, and, pe and people can see this, people can see your light. And how you're serving other people. So you're bearing fruit. Bearing fruit, it's, it's pretty broad. It's pretty big. And that's why I want you guys to press into it with the Lord. Okay, so bad fruit is just underdeveloped fruits. Uh, it's just underdeveloped fruit or it's just not good. It's just simply not good, right? So whether a fruit is, you know, not ripe or it's soured out, it's bad, you know, it's rotten, it's not good. Nobody wants bad fruit or underdeveloped fruit, okay? So... Underdeveloped fruits, meaning underdeveloped fruits of the spirit, okay? Bad fruit, meaning sin in your life or things that are preventing you from bearing good fruit. All right, so what the Lord wants you to do, he wants you to bear good fruit in your life. So he wants you to meditate on Galatians, and I'm going to link these scriptures below, okay? So you can reference back to them. Sorry, I'm like shaky today. Look at my camera shaking a lot. Sorry. The, the great shaking, the great awakening, guys. I've been woken up twice in my sleep, shaking. It's not a medical condition, I promise. It's spiritual. <laughs> the Lord's been saying, shaking. The great shaking's coming. He's giving me more revelation. I'm going to have a word being released about that, but you know, just everything's shaking around me. Stop shaking, camera. It's distracting. Okay, so meditate on Galatians 5, 22 through 23. All right, so the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Oh, do we need that one in our culture today? Oh, but really, uh, just get into the Word, study these scriptures, allow the Lord to minister to your spirit what 
fruit. I mean, we all need to be pressing in all the fruits, but maybe fruits that are really underdeveloped in your life and ones that you can you can be ripening with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay, they're his fruits, so he's going to help you develop them. Isn't that nice of him? That's so kind of him. <laughs> help you out on this journey. And pray to the Lord. Okay, the Lord wants you to seek him on revelation on what fruit is. So what is, you know, what, what are the fruits of the Spirit? Get deeper revelation. So I just told you them, but deeper revelation on what they are, okay? Always going for that deeper level. We read the scriptures. Okay, Lord, give us that deeper revelation, that, that fresh knowledge. Bring this scripture to life. Bring these to life. How can I cultivate them in my life? Okay, and also seek the Lord, and this might be, this is a more challenging one. You're going to seek the Lord on, to, seek the Lord to reveal to you what the bad fruit is in your life at this time. Okay, so we all got some bad fruit. Um, ask him what the bad fruit is in your life and how you can be cutting that out. Okay, Lord, reveal areas in my life that I'm falling short. Okay, help me to turn away from that. Lord, show me the sins that so easily beset me. Help me to turn away from them. Cut them out. Okay, let's cut off the bad fruit so that good fruit can come in. Amen. All right, and you're going to be praying Colossians 1 through 9 through 14 over your life. This is a really good prayer to be praying over yourself and for those around you. Okay, very powerful scripture. Okay, but I'm just going to read. All right, the Lord wants me to read to you guys 9 through 10. And I'm actually going to read it in my physical Bible here. Okay, so hurry up, Raven, find it. Hurry up. <laughs> These thin little pages usually have them written in my notebook, but I'm going to read it out of the physical Bible today. So it's got to get there. I should have had it marked for you guys. So just hold on. All right. So Colossians 1. Okay, we're going to read 9 through 10. All right, so for this reason, it's a prayer. So like I said, you pray this over yourself, pray this over others. It says, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit, Holy Spirit, gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God and growing in the knowledge of God. Okay. And then, but I would encourage you guys to read nine through 14 because this is a really powerful prayer, but I'm going to bear that good fruit. We want to live a life that's pleasing to the Lord, bearing good fruits, not just for our own character, our own walk with the Lord so that we can nourish those around us. Because what it, the Lord was saying too, you know, when we produce bad fruit in our lives, you know, if we're nourishing people with our good fruit, well, what is bad fruit going to do to other people? go make them sick so if you're producing bad fruit this is also going to affect others your good fruit affects others and your bad fruit affects others and that's not to put anybody into condemnation we know that there's no condemnation for those who are in christ amen but just to you know it's not just about you it's not just about you okay bear that good fruit for others get rid of that bad fruit for others okay we don't want to be making people around us sick with our sinful habits okay all right, so yes, if you if this video has stumbled upon you, the Lord wants you to press into what it means to bear good fruit for him, and he wants you to be actively cultivating and seeking him to um, produce and ripen the fruits of the Spirit in you, okay? Amen.